In this special effects makeup tutorial, we're going to go and make some fake blood, we're going to go and make some scar wax, and then we're going to go and apply a fake cut with both the scar wax and also the fake blood. So let's get started. You're going to need some light corn syrup. You're also going to need two tablespoons, so something to go and measure that out with, blue food dye, red food dye, a cup to go and put this into, and maybe a fork or something to mix it with. Go and pour out two tablespoons of corn syrup. I just have this measuring cup, well, measuring spoon, on a table and a surface. So welcome to the area that I usually do a lot of my makeup with, and you can see my brushes in the background. Now I'm putting this into a glass cup. Now cornstarch is pretty viscous, so this might take a bit of time for it to go and fill your cup, and if you don't get all of it off of your measuring spoon, that is more than okay. Now we're going to go and mix red food dye in. Usually you want to use about five drops. I'm actually using this gel food dye, so that's about the equivalent of what five drops of regular liquid dye would be. And now we're going to go and mix this up. It shouldn't really take too long to go and mix up, but again, cornstarch is pretty viscous, so it might take about a minute or so of mixing, which you do want it to be dispersed pretty evenly. Now we're going to take a drop of blue food dye, put it in there, and then go and mix this up as well. And the tone that we're going for this would be kind of a darker red, but not a purple. If it's too light, you can always add a little bit more blue, and if it's too dark, you can always add a bit more red to go and even everything out. But this is just about the color that you want. And now to make it look like the fake blood is clotted, take some instant coffee and put it into a bowl. Go and take some of the fake blood that you've already mixed up, put it over the top, and go and mix this all together. You don't want the instant coffee to fully and totally break down, you kind of want it to clump up just like this. And this is just about the texture that you do want for it, so you want some of these chunks that are in here. This is also going to darken it up a small amount, and here is what it is compared side to side with and without instant coffee. A few cool things about this fake blood, this is food safe fake blood, it also cleans off really easy with just a paper towel, and this doesn't really stain too much, but it can stain your skin a small amount, but it will stain clothes. Now let's make some scar wax, you're going to need all purpose flour. Take two tablespoons of all purpose flour, and then start off with half a teaspoon of petroleum jelly, petroleum jelly meaning the name brand would be Vaseline or any of those other ones. Go and scoop that into the cup and start to mix everything up. It's going to slowly chunk together, and as you start off, you might have to go and wipe it onto the side of your cup. This is pretty normal as it does clump. Go and fill up the teaspoon again with another half and scoop it into your cup. Continue to go and mix this, and if you do need to go and put more petroleum jelly into this if it doesn't clump up properly, that is okay, but normally this is a one-to-one -one ratio, one-to-one -one ratio meaning two tablespoons of flour to two teaspoons of the Vaseline or petroleum jelly that you're using, so you typically will not need any more. It's going to come to this almost crumbly consistency. Go and put your hand into the cup or container that you're mixing this into and start to get it into a ball. The ball should pretty much come together, and as it does get warmed up by, of course, your hands, it's going to clump together even further, and as long as it's not falling apart and flaking, then you have the perfect consistency. Now take a small piece of the scar wax that you just made and roll it out, and now we're going to go and make a fake cut. You're not really going to need a lot, but both ends should be pointed, take some petroleum jelly, put it down onto your hand, and now we're going to go and stick down the scar wax that we just made. Keep in mind, if you're using this scar wax, you really should not be going and putting this onto your face. This is one of these things that is more so for practice rather than really practical use. This stuff also flakes, and when it dries out, it's going to go and crumble. Now take more petroleum jelly and smooth over the top, and go and blend the edges with your skin. If you want to match the scar wax with your skin tone, you can always use some sort of cover-up on top of this or blend it in with the scar wax. Now that you have the edges blended, go and wipe off any extra petroleum jelly with a paper towel to try to get off some of the extra shininess. Then go and take a metal sculpting tool and dip it into petroleum jelly. This is going to help it guide through the scar wax rather than just going and ripping it. And this is pretty important to go and do because this will come off of your skin extremely easily. Now go and take some red powdered cosmetic, I'm using some eyeshadow, and then brush it over the top of this fake cut. After it's brushed on, your fake cut should look similar to this. And now we're going to go and put some of the fake blood into the center. I'm using the one that has some of the instant coffee in it because it's just slightly darker, and I feel like it has a lot more texture to it, so you don't have to put any extra cosmetic into the center. 
Now this is what it looks like after you are done. And the great thing is, is the cleanup is extremely easy. You can just go and easily scrape this off. It'll come off with pretty much zero resistance. Just make sure after you're done going and using this, you go and wash your hands. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, take care and have a great one.